What's up gang? In this video I'm going to show you how to get more kills as an anchor and particularly with anchoring operators. I figured the best way to do this was to show you how I anchor and break down some actual clips of me anchoring so that you can see real in-game examples. In this video I'm going to be breaking down how to anchor, going over specifics from site setup, how to hold your site, and how to play your site to maximize your kills and wins in the round. If you're new here consider subscribing. I'm all about how to improve your gameplay here in Rainbow Six Siege to get you to the rank and KD that you're working toward and overall just how to improve as a player both individually and with your team. So definitely be sure to subscribe otherwise I'll throw a massive hissy fit and everyone will feel very awkward plus I'll be moderately upset. But enough about my feelings let's jump into it. Okay, I've got my coffee, so we should be ready to go. We're gonna go over what operators to use, how to set up site, and basically how to hold site as an anchor to get more kills to get the dubs. All right, so we'll be going over these clips here. I'm actually commentary, commentating over this clip that I'm commentating in because I actually played this game to get these clips for you guys. So I picked these operators specifically to use in this clip. So I actually do some of the commentating in the game and then some I'll be doing over it as an overlay to make sure it all makes sense. I get some <laughs> I'm drinking out of the mug. Okay, so the reason I want someone to go with my here is because he's very powerful for catching the fire bolts if they bring Capital. Uh, when Capital first came out, the meta uh, for this site specifically was to fire bolts off anybody playing over there. I won't do that because they have Thatcher and they banned Bandit, which is really hard to trick the wall. You can K trick, but it's very difficult. Not it. I'll give you a kiss. It's nearly impossible. I got you, bro. Wait, but I wanted a kiss. <laughs> Just trying to talk somebody into going Wumai. <laughs> somebody almost didn't bring Cade here. All right, so we got a Wumai. Can we get Bandit? Oh, we don't have. Can we get Cade? Yeah. Let's go. So. These are just a bunch of randoms I'm playing with. So if you see a hole in the in the setup, you don't know, just try to ask your teammates to get to do it. And really, if they didn't pick Cade, I may have picked him. Maybe not because they have Thatcher, and regardless, they're gonna get the wall open with Cade. It's just it's just gonna happen. So I probably wouldn't have picked him. Okay. Got some guys there. But at the very least, you could put them on the back site over by construction to keep that closed. Good. Throw a condon to get an ace. Racist. <laughs> Racist. 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 Whoa. Racist. Whoa. Whoa. Don't Bunch of joking Whoa. around Whoa. Whoa. with the crazy. randoms. Okay. So the reason I'm putting this uh, reinforcement here is to put a mirror on it, um, and that is to keep site control even after they open up the wall so they're going to be opening up the wall that's just basically guaranteed that they're going to get it open uh so i will be ready with a mira to deny map control regardless of them opening it okay here's how we're going to set these mirrors up <clears throat> Can i think this is a pretty good Mira. So oh, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> he moved at the last second. I got you, I got you. Yeah. The reason you put this rotate here atop of red stairs is actually to deny uh, a push from the construction side with a guy sitting here on red stairs. You can, he can just sit on red stairs and deny the push from construction. Okay. It's just good to have rotates rotate. out of sight anyway. Okay. <clears throat> need one more reinforcement on uh, cash room. Let's see if we get this reinforcement. Oh, we do. We do. Good. Okay. Just inspecting sight right now. I'm seeing... You know, this is just a bunch of randoms I'm playing with, so I'm trying to see is site set up properly like and with my shotgun i can open up rotates where we need um which you saw this rotate right here we need this one for sure to keep garage control and that's also if they usually they typically go to plant behind the bomb over here it's just 
default play and what people do the most. So uh, when they do that, you can put pressure on it from the garage and also put pressure from the breach when they open it up from this rotate hole from garage. So it's very powerful rotate to have, especially with this reinforcement here, because then it cuts off angles that they can get on you and it just, it's a better hold this way. Show right there is not bad at all. Good. This mirror here is not really for actually peeking to get kills. It's more just so for information. Okay, so you can see that this mirror is, is pretty good. It's not perfect because they could dome me through the soft wall if they did it right. Uh, but it is very good because I can hold the window here and I can also hold uh, the breach. You'll see soon. How I shoot her head. Okay. Things are heating up. Okay. And pretty much what we're doing here is how you anchor. So I've I've got this control looking into the other site. I mean that's what mirror does for you. It's just so powerful and all you have to do is peek whenever they go to push. And so long as you don't just completely potato, you're pretty much guaranteed site control so long as they don't open the mirror up and or open up the soft wall. They could have opened up the soft wall, which would have been really good for them, but they didn't. So I don't know why. It's not coordinated enough, I guess. Probably. So it's not a perfect mirror, but it is pretty damn good. Is anybody playing below? Oh. <laughs> wow. I can get actually shot through this drone hole. This is not a great spot to be. Okay, so they try to smoke off the mirror. Smart. So I figured that because they're smoking stuff off, they're all pushing in, they're probably going to plant. And I actually think. Did we hear the box? Did we hear the box come open? They're in. Planting, they're planting. Denied. Nice. Just game sense. They have air job. Where did you die from? Okay. Where's last? Sounds like outside breach. See what Ash should have done? <laughs> Dead old Ash over here. What she should have done is Ash charged my soft wall right here. That would have been. That would have at least made it to where if I go to peek the other side, she could hold an angle on me. But even that, like if she just sits here and holds the angle, I could just quick peek, pre-fire, easy headshot for me. Um, they would have to time it just right and be basically constantly pre-firing it for me to not have the advantage there because I'm just staring at them. That's how you structure your holds. So, I mean, it's just like, they definitely didn't do everything perfectly, but they were very aggressive and they really, their mistake was just not clearing me out of this mirror spot. And, you know, really siege is a lot of who makes fewer mistakes, <laughs> you know, uh, everybody does everything right. Then they're, then they're perfect and that we would all be champion. So yeah, Mira is such a powerful operator for site control, which is why she's banned so often. It's because you just throw those things up, sit on those mirrors, peek it, get kills. I mean, it's so it's Mira good. on this site's just a little underrated because once they get the wall, they can just, you know, fine, have the wall. You know, I'll still keep you from pushing in. You can still deny plant. They tried to smoke me out, but. Um, just wasn't gonna work.
So down here, I'm gonna go smoke. Okay, so kind of a point I wanna make here is just because one operator is good for one site doesn't mean it's the right operator for the next site, you know. I don't ever pick operators, and not, I don't, I'm not gonna say ever, but 90% of the time I pick operators based on what's gonna be best to hold site if I'm anchoring and not just who I want to play. I pick it based on what is gonna be the easiest and most powerful way to hold site. Look at it, Jaeger. So yeah, here I'm good. going smoke, which I would consider, he's definitely considered an anchor just because of his utility. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> so. Okay, I think I, I think I tell you here. Very good for upstairs, Mira. Yeah, very good for upstairs. Um, Down here I'm gonna go smoke because I, Mira's still good down here, but I like smoke better. To play blue because I feel like people push blue more often than they push uh, yeah, I got dirt. main stairs is what I was gonna say main stairs and kitchen kitchen is like pushing that kitchen hatch let's see if I can show you anything else. pushing that kitchen hatch over here is so almost common cliche that it's like Everybody just knows how to deal with it for the most part. So kind of a growing meta, in my opinion, is to push the blue stairs engine where I put my shield up right here. Oops, right here. And the reason this shield, I want to, I just want you guys to understand how I'm holding and how this makes sense. So the reason you put this shield here is because you can deny the doorway. Anything else? Is so that you can deny this doorway right here, because this is we're gonna they're gonna push in through. I got you. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go play in lodges. <clears throat> so these are just randoms I'm playing with. I, they're not teams. Hey, where do you want this reinforcement in the middle? Off to the side. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Five you want the right? I don't know. You want it into blue? Okay, so he's asking okay. me where I want the rotate. It, um, I think put it on this corner. I've seen this in Pro League. Too. Oh. <laughs> so what I was going to say is that they open up this rotate into church and then they open up another one into blue. You can basically get a long angle into boxes from church. Pretty powerful way to hold the church. But this guy, this is just a random. He ends up reinforcing it, so. Oh, shit. Oh, supposed to leave that soft. <laughs> okay. I think I explained this hold. I, I'm not sure where that, that might be dirt. About to die. Okay. So I got my shield set up here to deny blue. Box is covering me here. I can pick this if I need to. So that's why I set this up this way and also put this barricade here because I don't want anybody full sprinting into blue. I want to know. If they start pushing it, I want to know. So that's why I like this, is you're covered from the doorway, you're covered from this long, they literally have to be right there. And the thing, you know, I'm showing like this, for the most part, by the time I see them, that's within shotgun range. This down the hallway is a little far, but um, I think I can position myself to be like in shotgun range. And so that's perfect because I don't have any long range weapons. I mean, I can, if I'm really careful, I can get good shots with the SMG-11. I'm pretty good with it, but um, it's not meant for that, and so it can be hard to win a gunfight like that. You're going in the kitchen? In the kitchen? Yeah, so see, like, this right here, this is shotgun distance right here. Um, so basically, all of my gunfights that I'll be taking will be within range of the weapons that I have. So that's something I've taken into account with this setup here. See. Play the shoddy here. Play the shield right here. I can see this through the slits. Pop up here. Still exposed to. Oh, you'll see something I really like about this shield placement here uh, a little later in the round. Uh, dirt. That. I don't know. I need to play with this shield placement. Yeah, that's true. That's blue. Guy dies. Ash. Dies from blue already. I got one of the Havana. 
Yeah, uh, she's no braining she's it. In, is she in church? Yeah, brain ashing it yeah, into she's sight. Gonna go through the rotate church. She was still in blue when I got killed. Somebody else dropped blue. Just heard the drop. She's 40 HP. She's still in sight, guys. The last they're getting arsenal hacks. They already used three of their bombers. Top four. Barb. Yo, she's in here. Okay, so the super cool thing about this shield is now I can play it backwards. <laughs> so it's so powerful. It's such a good spot for it. In my opinion, like I said in the video, in the clip, I need to play with it and see. But like so far, it's it's been really good for really good to me. So just where you put your shield uh, when you're playing a shield op like this is really powerful and definitely something you need to play with as an anchor. Hop up and get this guy. Smoke off my rotate so they don't push it or my doorway. You're still in church. Okay. Okay. There's a fuser. Okay. That's how you play your cover. My bad. It's all good. Just listen for the sound cue. And she peeks. I wasn't quite aiming head height, so I need to work on that. But, uh, true, true. <laughs> yeah. I have a confession to make. I'm not actually perfect. Well, now we got that out of the way. Stay tuned for part two of how to get more kills as an anchor. I hope you've enjoyed this video and has been helpful for you so far. If you haven't already, consider subscribing if it was. In part two, we'll be getting more kills with Wamai and Maestro. Check that video out here. If it's not ready yet, stay tuned for it next week. Thanks so much.